hello everyone today in this video we will discuss how to download cmip6 data sets so first of all open your browser whichever you are using and just write cmip6 data download and just go on search it and you can find the first website esgf just click on this one this is the best website for cmip6 data downloading Okay, now go to CMIP6 search interface. You can find the yellow here. Now you will just uh, go toward the uh, main data portal. So there are some steps, important steps you need to do. Uh, so if you have not make uh, its account and sign up you need to sign up to this website as i am using my account so you can also create your account so first you will check uh, mip era era it is cmip6 so under source id these are actually the climatic models so if you are going to use four climatic models or five climatic models you can select from uh, here so for this purpose i am going to use uh, my rock 6 it is just for uh, video okay so i'm going to use my rock 6 let's see so you if you are going to use five climatic models you can download uh, all these models one by one if you check multiple um, climatic models you will uh, get into some sort of confusion so to avoid uh, distraction or any problem you can uh, check one by one uh, climatic models okay and uh, under experiment id these are actually if you uh, already use cmip5 data sets then these are uh, those rcps you can uh, select ssp for uh, cmip5 data sets these are rcp 2.5 rcp 4.5 and rcp 8.5 and similarly for uh, uh, cmip6 uh, these are ssp so i am uh, going to use ssp uh, 4.5 so there are some extensions such as ssp 245 ghg and aer so if you are just uh, focusing on uh, ssp 4.5 you need to avoid all the extension just uh, in choose individual only ssp 2.4.5 okay and after checking your ssp 2.5 again i am uh, repeating do not if you are going to use multiple ssps then uh, try to download one by one to avoid any frustration so just check ssp 2.24 now go into variant variable variant labels there are many variant label you may uh, get confused so let's avoid it do not select yet okay uh, but frequency now we need to choose frequency and we have to uh, for uh, hydrological modeling purposes we need a daily data set so i am selecting daily so variable for variable these are precipitation temperature temperature and maximum temperature and maximum minimum temperature so for precipitation let's see if you are you need to download all precipitation maximum temperature and minimum temperature again repeating that you just select one at a time so here is the for precipitation it is only pr uh, do not click prc just click pr this one for precipitation and if you are um, you need to download the maximum temperature you can move a little bit downward and you can see uh, this one tsmx for maximum temperature and tsmin for minimum temperature so there are uh, there are many other tsmin crop 
you need to avoid this if you are just if your focus is just on minimum temperature you just uh, check TASMIN so I have just clicking uh, my precipitation because this video I need to download uh, precipitation results so just a short brief review which variable we have selected you can see it is CMIP6 and uh, downward it is my 6 this is climatic model okay now under uh, we are going to use ssp45 and uh, again it is daily data sets for frequency and similarly variable is precipitation okay so just click on search so here you can find multiple files you can see there are uh, three variables three three files number five is here, here it is nine okay so uh, you can see it is r1 i1 p1 and f1 please uh, note variant label here note it because uh, you cannot use uh, different variant label for uh, different uh, variable size I mean to say you cannot use R3 for precipitation and at the same time R1 for maximum temperature and minimum temperature variant label should be same for all type of data sets for single climatic model uh, because these may differ so in variant label now you have to select we are uh, focusing on R1, I1, P1 so just find the first one uh, here it is activated. R1, I1, P1 ok again click on search so you can see in uh, the 9 files are appeared here and if you select the variant labels having 3 data files then data may fall fall short of uh, your requirement because under in these nine files the uh, click on list file let's see the data is starting from 1st of january 2015 and it is moving toward 31st of december 2100 so if uh, there are only three files then your data will be till 2044 so it may be you you do not willing to download uh, short data so the variant label is actually the playing the key role so if you are using r1 i1 p1 f1 for uh, precipitation similarly you need to you have to download the same data sets for the maximum and uh, minimum temperatures i, I hope uh, my uh, point has been clear okay then just click on HTTP downloads for uh, first file similarly HTTP for second file uh, download these files one by one let's see click on HTTP download and the file will start downloading hopefully let's see thanks for watching my video I hope this video will help you please uh, share with your friends subscribe to my channel and uh, if you have any queries you can um, um, ask me uh, through my email or you can also comment okay 